Yeah, me. We'll okay. just have a conversation. The camera will catch it. Okay. And we're good. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, cool. All right, people, we're back. Uh, this is where I started. We're almost actually, this is, a uh, what's today, the 6th? Today's the 6th. Floyd's fighting today. Floyd is that today? That is today. Um, but, yeah, you know what's crazy? Three days in the future from now, June 9th is exactly one year from when I started this whole thing, which nice. is pretty cool, right? Nice. But um, we have a special guest. I've uh, been trying to get a hold of you in here for a while now, and you are finally here. Mm-hmm. She has a fight um, June 24th coming up. 24th, yeah. And mm-hmm. uh, yeah, Amber Leboff, ladies and, ge- ladies and gentlemen. Hi. Hello, how are you? Finally, it's been forever. I know. Like, literally forever. I know. I've tried to get you in here for a while. No, I'm here. But you're busy, you know? Yeah. I get it. You're a fighter. You have a whole... I, and some days, I'm like, man, I can't even move. <laughs> like, if people want me to get up and out of bed, like, I can't. Like, I Sundays, that's it. I know. I get it. Um, so, yeah, you have a fight on the 24th. What are you? What are, uh, your thoughts on that? I'm With, excited. What did you say her name was? Olivia... Yeah, as far as I know, I'm supposed to be fighting um, a girl named Olivia Parker, mm-hmm. which is going to be a really good fight. You know, it's something that I think has been in the works for a while. I know that she asked to fight me on Twitter a while ago, but I wasn't um, quite ready to get back into the swing of things because, yeah. um, you know, I needed just a little bit to, after my last Bellator loss, I just needed a little bit of time to readjust and yeah. get my mind right and things like that so yeah it, it's really good we're both kind of tall chicks and um i'm excited like i haven't been this excited to fight again in a long time and you know so like that that's a great feeling going into a fight you know just being really happy to just be able to do what i do yeah it's been so long like covid everything really i think hopefully readjusted people's passion for what they do because we haven't been able to do it so like yeah, yeah. i'm excited yeah is that so you had it so from your last law that's why you've taken some time off obviously obviously covid gets in the way that's a whole year plus. i did fight the week before covid though the shutdown was that the was that <clears throat> where where in San Diego. In San Diego. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So then I. Okay. Never mind then. Yeah. Yeah. I fought in San Diego mm. for Gladiator Challenge the mm. week before the shutdown okay. of COVID, and um, yeah. So. Oh, and then you t- and you were like, I need some time off. Yeah, and then, and then COVID, COVID happened, and then once like you know, fights kind of started happening yeah. again. I was like, uh, let me just you know, sit back, chill. Yeah, and even after the Bellator fight, before I took the Gladiator Challenge mm-hmm. fight, there was a little bit of space in between that, and I. I was chilling before um, or after Bellator, you know, yeah. just trying to like reassess. Mm, yeah, because I've been—I mean, I've been seeing you online working. Uh, don't do you yeah. think like this, during this type of time when you have this type of time off, is when you grow the most Absolutely. as a, as a fighter and you learn like you d- develop new new drills, new new uh, mean, techniques or whatnot. You would hope so. I mean, not necessarily new, but um, with all this time. Like, you really, I've had nothing, I can only speak for myself, right? Mm-hmm. I don't know what other people else yeah. did with their time. But I figured out my flaws, and I was like, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put myself in positions where I flaw the most, you know? Mm-hmm. And that's where, I, where I've been this whole time, and I've just been working and grinding. And the time off and not having a fight, not having to worry about something coming up, because, you know, you got to tailor back and make mm-hmm. sure you don't get hurt. Like, yeah. kind of just being able to go 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 for the last what almost two years has been super beneficial for my game yeah. like definitely yeah because Cass, i was talking to Cass bell and i asked him kind of the same thing and he said like because fight camps is like kind of just drilling and you're and you, you already uh you're drilling basically what you know but when you don't have anything scheduled or a fight planned is when you look like uh, yeah. when you get better in that time instead of just drilling and you're like a robot during fight camp. Well, because you're not stressed either, mm. right? Like when you were here in camp and you got a fight, like you got a goal. There's specific things like people, styles, this. When you don't have that kind of stress, you can kind of just flow and work on whatever yeah. and not feel pressured to. All right, I need to just work on my takedowns or, mm-hmm. or getting yeah, off the yeah, bottom. Yeah. Like you can kind of just do everything. I don't want to say mindlessly because you should always have your mind in it, but you can kind of just touch all areas and um, hone in on them, like everything. You know, not have to be so spot specific. I mm-hmm. guess as you yeah. would say. Yeah, no, I get it. Uh, so and you're at CSA. That's your that's your main. Mm-hmm. That's your because I saw a few years ago you trained at Alpha Male. Um, no, I mean, I'm still training. Still, really? I still cross train at Alpha Male, oh, go up dope. there in Spar Days. But right now, I train at Combat Sports Academy. Yeah. And we got Gilbert Melendez over mm. there running our MMA program. And I go and grapple with his guys oh, during cool. the week as well. So I guess I'm a CSA El Nino hybrid. Mm-hmm. And 
Um, Alpha Male is our sister gym. Uh, nice Coach time. works with guys from there. They allow us to come on their sparring days and their class days, which they oh, come to awesome. ours as well. So it's actually a nice little um, mixture we've got going on. Mm. And Where, it works. Where's so. Gilbert? Is he San Francisco? He's in South San, City. Yeah. South City, okay. Mm-hmm. That's what's up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm at, do, you, do you see Rye Favor? Yeah, of yeah, course. You're right. on the mat. He's like, on the I think that's the most amazing thing about these two teams that I get to work with, yeah. right? And I'm lucky I'm a woman, so I get to kind of float. Like, mm-hmm. Alpha Male, there's not a lot of chicks there. There's a few, you know, so I get, like, the best work with, with their guys there. And then I can, like, and, I, and my size puts me in a good position yeah. where I'm not like, oh, man, some of these guys are so big, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I get the best work there, and then I get the best work with El Nino. Uh, but it's so nice because both Gilbert – and Uriah are on the mat almost every time. Well, you know, unless Uriah's got a fight or something, then he's not around. But Gilbert on the mat, he rolls with us. He grapples with us. Uriah will come in there, like, get it with his guys. Like, it's really cool to see these legends. Yeah, that is Like, they're absolute legends. Like, sometimes I look around, I'm like, man, like, Look at who I'm surrounded by, you know, but um, they're legends and they're still working. They are and they love it. And it's so good. Like, it's so good energy to just feed off that and learn from that and have that. Mm -hmm. It's, I couldn't be happier. Do you get, when you see, like, the high level people, do you ever get, like, starstruck and then be like, oh, shit, hold on. You know what I mean? Like Sometimes, sometimes, but, you know, uh, I'm pretty to business. Like, especially when you get onto a floor, like, El Nino, or mm-hmm. you get on a floor like Alpha Male, yeah. um, and being a woman, mm-hmm. you know, like yeah, yeah, yeah. you gotta be on top. You want to make sure people like you respect you. Respect know you're it, yeah. there for for work. Like you know, I'm not here for for no no nothing else. Like yeah. I'm trying to get yeah, working. Yeah, yeah. Like I want to yeah. get better. I want to yeah, seem like a fan girl. Yeah, yeah, and I want to be the best in the world. Like I am the best in the world, but I gotta put myself in tough positions, mm-hmm. and that's what I'm doing. So like inside, you're like, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But then yeah, it's like, all right, be cool, be cool, yeah, be cool. Exactly, hey, exactly. Sir? You know. Exactly. Da-da-da-da. But yeah, yeah it, it's cool. It's fun. Like yeah, it, cool. it's the fight journey is such an amazing journey, mm. and I'm really trying. I think I got away from this, but I'm really trying to enjoy all of it. Like yeah. every experience, I look around, touchy feely, Andre feely. Like yeah. you just sit there, That's, chop it up with like book. you know, yeah, like cool. he's a legend, yeah. and people would look at him like, oh, I want to be like that yeah. one day, and I get to be around people yeah. like that all the time. To you that, know, yeah, like, that's and that's. Yeah, that's the. I couldn't ask for more. Yeah, that's the dream. You know? It's a dream. It's a dream for someone like it. Yeah, it's a dream. So I want I want to start from the beginning. Like, um, what got you? What what got you into mixed martial arts? And like, when? How old were you? I was like, twenty four, twenty five. Mm-hmm. Um, I dated a girl, uh, who was already a professional fighter, mm-hmm. and she kind of just needed someone to work out with. So I would go with her in the mornings, do some fitness classes, and. Um, it was like super super early so she just needed someone to wake up with her and i was a drinker i was a partier <laughs> like yeah. i was super out of shape i yeah, had yeah, never yeah. been in a gym so i was like i wanted to impress her so i was mm-hmm. like yeah do, cool do. let's do this right but i'm also like a super stubborn person so yeah. it was challenging and i guess that kind of is what made me want to keep coming mm-hmm. back um and then she started to teach a like a striking or an mma class and she was like come on i need people like like we're gonna teach yeah. you how to like strike or whatever um so i did that for a little bit and then her and i broke up and i was like well you know what i'm heartbroken Mm. like i'm sad like let's just kind of get into this right stayed at the gym that uh she introduced me to and i started doing jujitsu and when i started doing jujitsu that's where like the love started Mm. and a lot of people think that i started striking but jujitsu is what made me fall in love so i started training um hard at Every day, twice a day, six days a week, competing all the time, uh, doing really well in jiu-jitsu competitions. And I was like, well, this is let's it. take it. Let's yeah. take it to the next level. Let's try to fight. And I, that's what I did. And I got some really good opportunities with Tough Enough, which led me to Invicta, which Invicta mm. led me to Bellator. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah, what was it? What, the first fight, what was that like? Yeah, Four. like the, just feelings wise, like amateur walking. or pro, because they're both different. Uh, yeah, am, let's start with amateur. Let's start with amateur. What was like the feeling? I was lost. Okay. I was I lost my first amateur fight, but mm-hmm. um, I was super lost. I didn't like I. It's kind of a blur still. Excuse me. Um, it's kind of a blur still, but yeah, that one I was super lost. Like when I try to think back to it, I just remember being like, 
the fuck's happening? Like, what yeah. am I, like I don't, I couldn't yeah. tell you what I was wearing. I couldn't tell you Not anything really. like that. It's a blur. Like kind it's of a blur. blur. Yeah. My pro, though, I remember all of it. Because obviously, like, I fought Marina Shafir, which mm-hmm. was, like, above yeah, yeah, my yeah. head, you yeah. know. For and first pro fight. For yeah. my first pro <laughs> fight in <laughs> International Fight Week mm-hmm. at the Cosmo. Like, that, I'll never forget. That, yeah, you got the this, whole experience. To this yeah. day, that is the one fight I'll remember forever. I remember, really? like, what, the, what it smelled like. Like, yeah. the temperature of the room, the lights, her, like, what she looked like. Like, everything, like. That was that was a dope experience. For Man, sure. that is yeah. cool. That is cool. And then you, from there, you went. You went for. Was your and your first profile was with what? Invicta. Invicta. Yeah. Damn, that's cool. Yeah. Invicta's and then dope. my second profile. So and I finished the first fight super quick, right? Um, and my amateur career was short. And then I fought Megan Anderson. Mm. For my second fight with Invicta. Damn. And Megan Anderson woke my shit up. She said she woke my shit up. She woke my shit up. Like, hey, I clipped her. I clipped her, and I just didn't have nothing to follow up after that, you know, because I wasn't really. But I mean, your second pro fight, you know. And I wasn't in a really. She's been doing it forever. Yeah, and I wasn't really in a big gym, you know. I was kind of like just figuring it out. Like, I've had, like, some really good opportunities where that bum rush style Mm kind of works for me. Um, but with her, it didn't. Yeah, she had yeah. more than me, and she yeah, she woke my shit up. And yeah. she she was like the turning point though for my career, and she is really the reason why I made the decisions I made to go to CSA and be mm. where I'm at today. So so you, is that what you just made the decision to go there, and then they were like, "We'll fuck with you," and you know, nah, with you, they, or, I had you know, already been like searching for sparring partners, and that's how I met. Coach K in, mm. at first, and he was like, you know, like you can be here. Like I would love to train you, like whatever. And I was like, I'm really loyal to this gym. Mm. Like I'm not ready to leave. And he's like, Well, when? Yeah, yeah, if yeah. you ever change your mind, I'll, I'll be here. And then after um, the Megan fight, you know, somebody reached out to me. He was like, Hey, you should really go and talk to Kieran, and you should go over to CSA, and sh- you should, you know, really, really listen and see, like you know, what that could be, like a real fight gym with all yeah, these fighters. Like, like, do you really want to take this seriously mm-hmm. or do you not? Like, what do you want for your life? So that's what I did. Yeah. You know? And it's not really like you're being disloyal, right? Like, well, I, my, feel- I fell out with that first gym anyway. So, oh, okay. So, all right. So, but don't you, isn't it like pot you could, could go gym to gym? Not like you're just, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. you could go back and forth and, you yeah, know, work you, with you multiple could, gyms. You could, but I already fell out with that okay, gym. So, yeah, so yeah, it was so whatever like, yeah, at this point. I'm, I'm fully invested. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, I see. I see. And then I went to CSA and Coach ain't been able to get rid of me since. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. That's what's up. Did Stand you play me. Did you play any other sports or no? Nope. You never, didn't. Damn, so you didn't do, really, you didn't do nothing up mm-hmm. until, and then she, this girl that you, you were dating got you into training and you were like, this is it for yeah. me. Wow. I, I partied. Party? I raved. I partied. <laughs> I don't know. I've, I've had a lot of, like, That's phases. Awesome. I've had a lot of phases in my life, but, yeah, yeah I didn't do much. I used That's to like awesome. to dance. And I think that that's where, like, my rhythm comes from. Mm. And I think that that's why um, moving became uh, the easiest part for me when it comes to, like, striking, uh, jiu-jitsu, makes sense. stuff good like that. Yeah. Good footwork. Yeah, I do have good footwork. Uh, awareness of your own body, too, mm. you know? So that's about it. But other than that, no no basketball, no volleyball, mm. nothing. Damn, mm-hmm. that's crazy. I would have thought you would play different sports and you like didn't do nothing, just dance. Mm-hmm. But you were an active dancer then. <laughs> I mean, every night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> so, um, what's the what's the what's the, so you're a few weeks out from this fight? Yeah, I'm like and, three. And it's where in SoCal? Yeah, Anaheim Hills. Anaheim Hills. Wow, that's mm-hmm. cool. So cool. Could be a cool little event. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dope. And then yeah. what, when you go out, the, when do you? Are you uh, driving? Are you yeah, flying? I'm gonna drive, gonna and I want to leave that Monday. That, so you know, because I'm gonna have there. to cut weight and do mm. all that. So I just want to be down there. Yeah. And Jesse Jess gonna come. Oh, that's she dope. Gonna, she gonna be my little corner. That's corner cool. Woman. Yeah, I know. I've seen but, you in her corner. Oh so, yeah. Yeah, that's dope, sure. man. I know. That's it. Like she can't do nothing without me from this point on. When'd you meet her? At at, at, CSA? at, the, at CSA. Mm-hmm. And then at you guys CSA. just hit it off and upon us. Pretty much, yeah. Which is weird too, because I'm not I'm not always known to be like super friendly with chicks at first like really? i kind of have my guard up mm. you know so uh kind of gotta get to know me to like yeah. be like oh she's cool other than that you're like i don't really know about that yeah. one but yeah me and jesse we hit it off like we're 
we're we're a lot alike but we're completely different at the same time and it's a nice little flow we have and she became my best friend and oh I'm really super thankful oh for that's her. hella yeah. cool oh mm-hmm. that's hella cool yeah mm-hmm. she seems all dope her personality seems dope online yeah. so I can because some people you feel like you could see the this might sound shitty but you can see like mm-hmm. you're putting on for the, the people force. Like, yeah you know what I'm saying force like alright I get it you know what I'm saying but she seems authentic no, and cool she's so dope. that seems dope she's super dope and yeah. she's a super good person and she's been real real good to me as a friend mm-hmm. a teammate like all that and she's been um, a delight to be a part of CSA like when she came you know she just added like more to how special that place is for mm, sure. that's dope did she was she there after you she came after you yeah. damn and then you went oh okay that's mm-hmm. cool yeah there's lots of people I didn't realize how many people once I started following the gym I started seeing how many people are in there there's a lot mm-hmm. of people lots of girls people come people yeah, go yeah that's cool it's a, it's do people get room. feel like offended like that when they come and go or is it just part of the game like I mean it's part of part it of right the, the turnovers like not yeah. people ain't gonna be satisfied everywhere mm-hmm. so like you get your lifers you get your people that come and go you get people that come and visit still yeah, you know that's like I, yeah. everybody kind of finds their place like as long as you're a good person and mm-hmm. you're willing yeah, to do the knows. work um coach Kieran will always open his doors for people you know that's dope. so yeah that's yeah. cool yeah because i feel like sometimes people get offended or like if they come and go from gyms or like i would think you would want to just to get different looks from all these different people. And I mean, as long as you're being like, a solid person, like a solid person yeah. about it, yeah, like, you, you know, yeah, you don't want to be like a snake or something, yeah, yeah. you know? So as long as you're not one of those kind of people, like it's always love. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Damn. Sure. So what, so when you drive out there, what's fight week consist of? Do you know? Are you, do you, Mm, I mean, just normally. Yeah, normal or just it's what, are, just what are your be, plans for this one? It's probably just going to be a lot of me settling in because I'm going to drive up, cut weight, weigh in, fight, you mm-hmm. know, so I'm not going to really have a lot of time to do much. Mm-hmm. So it's probably going to be just me settling in, me cutting weight, and then chilling, re- get my, my weight back up yeah. and fighting. Are you guys doing COVID? T- is, it, is COVID stuff done? Now? I think I, I think we will have to show like um, a negative Oh, or okay. a vaccine. I don't. I don't uh, know. I don't know what the rules. Oh yeah, because right? they're doing the vaccine. Yeah. Are you getting the vaccine? Not yet. Not no, yet. Okay. No. Not like yet. as yeah, yeah. at this point, like not that I'm like with yeah, or, yeah, yeah, or I know. against it. Not like yeah. people can say do, do whatever and, they want. Exactly. Yeah. For me, right now, do I feel like I need it? No. Like if it becomes a like problem where you know because I do like want to be in Jesse Jess's corner or like, you know, do these things like corner, like amateurs and things like that. So if it starts to become like a hassle, Hassle. then that's a different story. You know, do I think that like, I'm going to turn into some mutant and get corrupted by the government? (laughs) (laughs) No, no, I don't. Magnets, you've seen they put magnets, they're doing weird shit. There's a bunch of weird shit going on. That's crazy. I know a lot of conspiracy theories. Uh, I I mean, I'm with it. I like all information, you know, because then I can just pick and like what I feel is logical and what yeah, I yeah, feel yeah. is like yeah. not. Man, that's crazy. So for this fight, uh, how are you feeling about it? Good. Good? Mm-hmm. I feel great. Right, good. I feel like... The for, best you? I feel for the first time like I'm well-rounded. Mm. Before, there's always like, ah, oh, shit, my takedowns aren't that great. Uh, if we get into this position on the floor, like, it's going to be tough, you know, <laughs> or... The, I always had these things in the back of my mind, but right now, like... See me. Yeah. Where? Uh-huh, where? That's what's up. Like where you want to see me at? Because yeah. I'm ready, and that's the the beauty of training with teams like El Nino and Alpha Male and CSA yeah. Yeah. that are like three of the best teams in the world. Um, you get those looks. You get them everywhere. So. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what's up. I'm excited. Yeah. Excited. That's yeah. That's cool, man. So and then if you you win this fight and you're moving on, you you plan on staying active. Yeah, I want to stay active. I'm going to do a few more in the regional, and I'm trying to make my way back to the stage, you know, mm. whether it's Bellator. I mean, of course, I would love to go to Bellator because that's where the division's at, you know, but yeah. I'm not going to lie and not say I wouldn't like to take a shot at the Contender Series if Ooh, if the opportunity that would, that would came be, up. How does that know? happen? Do you know how, like, people get into, like, do, how no. do you fall into that? No, I don't know. I don't well, know the you logistics. Yeah, yeah, I would imagine you know? you're active, you do some fighting, and then, and then, you know what I mean? Yeah. I would imagine you, people can connect you to well, that. Well, like, especially because, you know like, there's not a lot of 45ers. Yeah, like, that, you and know? That, that division's, like, kind of wide open. I mean, it's the people open. are there, but it's they're wide open for contenders, you know what and I'm saying? And I'm, I'm a great 45er. Yeah. I'm a real 45er. Exactly. Like, you know... Um, I fight well yeah. when I'm performing. I'm performing to the best of my abilities. It's a show. Like, I'm exciting. Yeah. You know? I keep, 
cute face, yeah. like, what's up? Let's you know go, what marketable, like, like yeah, whatever. Yeah. We're, yeah. we're ready. Let's do it. But first, I've got, you know, some things to do, yeah. get myself back to where I need to be, and yeah. we're taking off running from there. I know you see that. Do you do you pay attention to the, everything that goes on, or do you just are you just you seen that Clarissa Shields and yeah. shit like mm-hmm. that? Yeah. And it's 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 strange though because she's a big girl. You know? Yeah, I I'm a big Clarissa Shields fan. She's dope. Ah. She's dope. But it's weird because I say that only because like she's gonna fight. She wants. To, I think she's fight, is she fighting at forty five this first no, one. Uh, fifty five. Yeah, but. And then what's because after? It's PFL. Yeah, but so how, do probably, they have a lot of fifty five? Yeah, they, PFL got a whole fifty five tournament. They do. Yeah. Is what's her name? Uh, do you not know about the PFL hundred fifty five women? No, tournament? hell no, I don't know Kayla shit about this. Is, yeah, is she fifty five? Yeah. I thought she was forty five. Uh-huh. Oh. I think she may have fought. That thought her last. Oh uh, no. Her last one where she just dogged no, that girl that, wasn't forty five. That was fifty five. Yeah. Jesus Christ. PFL does a whole women's lightweight Damn, tournament. That's cool. It's great. Damn, it's that amazing. is cool. I didn't. It's, it's so chicks. So there's. So that just means that the talent is out there. That it's you out can there, find man. the people. There's they make it seem like, coming up. Like mm. I, I do my research. I see them. We've got forty fivers on the East Coast. Yeah, you got forty fivers down in American Top Team. Yeah. You got a bunch of forty fivers around here Dude. coming up. You well, just, they make it seem like they're just. Well, where are they? Because there's there's just a big gap. Uh, you know what I and, mean. And like so like you got like. You've just got a bunch of people just kind of starting, like, like getting okay, ready, yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you've got people that have been in the game for a long time, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. so okay. the gap is I just kind it. of big, but it's we're I coming. Yeah. Like, the feather There's going to be a wave coming. probably soon yeah. then where they just start popping out, I bet. Like this Danielle Wolf and um, yeah, uh, yeah. Spencer fight, mm-hmm. like that's a big deal for featherweights. Damn. Like that, they need to have a showing, you know? Yeah. And that's the thing about featherweights right now. Like we got to fight and you got to fight like, like exciting. Like let's go, like let's give these people like, like, what they want to see because yeah. when it just ends up being like these slow like ah uh, because we're big girls and don't really want to get cracked too hard they yeah. kind of just play like go for it yeah. because that's what's going to keep our division alive yeah well i think i mean the, I, the girls uh for the most part i mean are just as entertaining definitely just as entertaining as men in any division yeah one of my favorite divisions is is fucking the straw weights you know oh, what yeah. i'm saying like they get their that shit's active they're 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 uh they're sick. The women are sick, man. For how long? Like for a minute, there was like, um, I would say like the talent compared to the men. Like they were catching up. They're there now. Yeah. They're 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 right there neck and neck with with uh, talent wise. You know, my opinion wise. is biased, but we're better sometimes. Like, Dude, the are, fight, right? Because we're like women are technical, so not only do you get the aggression, not yeah. only do you get like this fire, like yeah. you know what I mean, like this women woman energy, mm-hmm. like you also get like very technical yeah. fights from some of these women, Dude, and it's beautiful to yeah. watch. Like, it is the transitions, the ground games, the and fight them. that Dude. just happened this past weekend between Della Rosa and what's her name, like. Uh, Ariane Lipsky. Beautiful yeah. striking. Yeah. Beautiful grappling. grappling. I know. Like, that, that I said the same thing. Like, this is we're going to see. Can she stop the takedown? Can she get it? What's going to happen? You yeah. know what I mean? And then we yeah. saw, you know, mm-hmm. it's like that. I love that shit. Mm-hmm. Some of my favorite fighters are women. I just think also, like, because it's crazy, because I, I feel like I get caught up talking about the women fights more than the. Mm-hmm. Also, I like women, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know what I mean? And it's just, <laughs> yeah, and it's, it's just attractive to me. But, uh, I feel like more people should talk about the 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 women fights, like um, you know, on a yeah. mainstream level. It's not I, when, when you listen to all these media shows; they'll talk about them for the high ones. But for the most parts, some of the best fights you get on cards are women's, and then they'll breeze right past it and be like, pff, pff, pff. you know what I mean? Well, it's that's crazy. because there's a lot of people that still don't feel like women should be fighting. That's crazy. You know, like it, it's that's definitely crazy. getting less and less. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. it's getting more of a known thing, but. You definitely have people who still don't think women should be fighting yeah. like that. It. You know, it's not it's not a womanly thing to do, which is yeah. whatever. Like, <laughs> get out of here. Like, let us do what we want. Yeah. Like, shut up. <laughs> like, yeah, like the fact that so many people, men and women, feel like they can have opinions on yeah. other women and what they do. It's just tired. It's getting I know, tired. It's crazy. I it's know. It's getting it exhausting. Crazy. Like from the shoulders, shut up. Yeah, <laughs> like like, like yeah. either either come here or shut up. Yeah, it's but it's also it. those dude the the dudes at least I feel like that are saying that even the, probably the women they have no involvement in anything. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. in any type of shit, and it's like you're not active in anything probably for the most part. My coach has a rule: block, 
Yeah. Really. Yeah. Like that's it. Yeah. That's it. Don't read it. My block list is long. Mm-hmm. I used to not. I used to entertain it, but then sometimes I get caught up and I and I'm like, what am I doing? <laughs> what am I? Because people, when I used to have bigger pages, people used to legit DM me and be like, fuck you. Yeah. And I'm like, damn. I'm like. I mean, oh, I'm God. super you know thankful. I do not get the same kind of hate. Which, thank you very much. Mm-hmm. I love you guys. I love my fans. Mm-hmm. Love my followers. Love my friends. Family. Um. But I don't get the same kind of hate some people do. And yeah. I also don't have, like, a ginormous following. Yeah. So maybe that has something to comes. do with it. Yeah. But um, if I do get hate, like, every now and then, like, if it's something real, like, petty, yeah. I just feel like being a little yeah. petty back. Uh-huh. But if it's... Whatever. Yeah, yeah. I just delete it, block it, delete it, like, go on about your day. Yeah. Like, whatever, say whatever you want. Like, I have people every now and then just be like oh like what you don't respect yourself or something like so something so stupid or a man or a man being like yeah that's why you've got a filter on yeah oh, you're God. right because this yeah. boy have you not seen my story yeah. like we're just suffering with female uh, adult <laughs> acne here yeah. like yeah. What, you, no, you just I want do, me yeah. to be all crazy on the internet <laughs> oh no Relax. no don't use filters everything yeah. real here yeah, right? it's crazy and they say what you don't really because of because like the sexy type pictures yeah yeah but yeah. i mean it's it's all part of the game you know what i'm saying it's all part of who you are and if what you you're doing think about it back to like the WWE days or like women's sports, men's sports, mm-hmm. like it, like being attractive and having sex appeal and being an athlete has always been a thing. Yeah. It's just now that yeah. we have the internet and things people like that, hate. it's more in your face people hate. now. Yeah. And people hate. And also, it's like, yeah. listen, if I look, whoever's saying that, whether it's a man or a woman, if they were in a position to flaunt it or show off. Listen, if I was shredded, I would never wear a shirt. <laughs> I would never wear a shirt. I'd be out there like, one day my goal is to get shredded and I'm, you'll see me, you'll see me online. I'm like, I work for this shit. You know what I'm saying? So I could like, the people that just look at them and be like, yeah, I get it. It makes sense. You it's know what I'm saying? Just, it just goes back to just let people be yeah. people. Like, yeah. who are you? Like, who exactly. are you? If you, my mom called me one day and she was like, uh. Oh. I seen your ass on the internet. And I was like, I'm 33 years old. I was like, I'm 33 years old. Thank you. Yeah. Um, like, yeah. and goodbye. Yeah. And she was like, okay. And I was yeah. like, all right, mommy, I love you so much. Yeah. Bye. You know, yeah. and that's that's it. That's it. I didn't get disowned. Yeah. I didn't get, yeah. you know what I mean? Nothing like that. Like, my mom was just like, all right, well, you're a grown-ass woman, but just let no, I see that. Yeah. I see that. <laughs> um, which is okay. People that love yeah. you can always have opinions yeah. about what you're doing or, like, say something, especially if maybe they feel like you're doing something harmful to yourself mm-hmm. or something like yeah, that. Yeah, that's but, different, though. But if you've just got people on the Internet who are trying to express themselves however they feel fit for themselves, themselves yeah. like let yeah. them be and also it's kind of like it's kind of it goes hand in hand now that type of marketing and and um even though i'm sure it's like i've worked hard for this body or i'm sh- i'm showing it because i'm proud and i look i think i look good or whatnot it's mm-hmm. also it goes hand it's like it's moving the marketing for women in, in mma is moving that like we were talking about earlier lots yeah. of girls have their own only fans yeah. and their own uh, website dot com whatever their name is dot com you know yeah. what I'm saying so it's like it's all part of the whole well, business I mean, you're your own business it's all part of everything getting paid. yeah so what what do you want you yeah. know like women aren't getting paid but this is what we love to do mm. as well so we just found more revenue you mm. know there's more streams and anybody that's hating on another woman or man woman hating on somebody getting their money like is ridiculous to me, men yeah. or women, because it's not just women who have OnlyFans. Men do too. There's yeah. men that have OnlyFans as them. well. You yeah. know what I've I mean? Seen them. Like, they're with, like they're, they're out, out there. there with, maybe they're far between, yeah. but how are you gonna hate on somebody for getting their money, especially in the, one of the worst times? Yeah, of, right now. The, yeah, that's what it seems like. Everybody know? started turning up during this COVID. The shit dried up. No jobs for nothing, and people were like. Shit, I got, I got bills to pay, yeah. I got family to feed, mm-hmm. and you know what? I was posting it for free. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like like what I was given before, and now there's And just, you'll get those likes, so it's like, well, why not? On it. yeah. And and there, there was a big period where a lot of people were like, oh, these women don't respect themselves. Like, what about 
the the kids and the teenagers and the this and that that follow them right so in my head I was kind of thinking about it, like okay I feel it right like how could you explain something like that to maybe like one of your five year old students yeah, or but, something right yeah so put a lock and key on it exactly put a lock and key exactly. on it but you can't and, be mad now I found a solution for one problem but people just want to be haters yeah you know? and also if you're worried about your kids seeing this stuff then you, that's your that sounds like a you problem yeah. you have to watch what your kids are doing online and yeah uh, put the parental controls on it. If they're looking at, at like, you know what I'm saying? Grown, grown people's posts. What are you doing? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, that's your problem, not mine exactly. for a fucking, you exactly. know what I'm saying? Exactly. No, I feel it. But, yeah. uh, yeah, you know, there's only so much you can control, right? Yeah. It does depend on other people, right? There are limits. Even me, I'm like, oh, maybe that was like, look too much you know yeah, what I mean yeah, or like yeah. I do mentor do you, you feel like that sometimes sometimes oh, fuck, I did too much I, not necessarily myself you yeah, know yeah, sometimes yeah. you see some shit you're oh, like oh you shit yeah, like, like that was a lot yeah. <laughs> like, even for me that was a lot yeah. um, but I do like mentor like kids I got a lot of girls like in yeah, I see TikTok that. That's awesome. TikTok is something that pops up in conversation mm-hmm. a lot you know I do have to like remind these girls like hey that stuff that you see is not real. Mm, you know what yes, I mean? I'm very yes, open yes, with them how, cool. like, I take pictures yeah. with, uh, like, if me, if we all take a picture together, tell them, like, look, it's just a filter. Like, remember that. You know, yeah, like, remember that's, that what you see mm-hmm. everywhere is exactly what we just did right here. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then it gets them more like, all right, this is reality. This is, is the internet. Yeah. You know? The same way growing up when your mom would be like, those people on the magazines, that's not what they really look like. Fuck, fucking mishap. <laughs> fucking oops. Sorry, guys. We had we're a mishap. Alive. Technical uh, technical difficulties, and um, we're back. But uh, we're talking about the children. And um, the OnlyFans. The OnlyFans. And but, people minding their damn business. business. Yeah, but I and I did want to ask too because you it was a great segue to that to the um, to uh, you train children. I do. Yeah. I do. How do you like that? I love it. My kids are a big part of my life. Um, I run the kids program by myself right now at CSA, so it's it's building. Some days I got like 20, 22 kids on the mat, um, but I love all my kids. I love all of them. They they know that I, I'm like no nonsense, but at the same time, like if something happens or goes on, like they talk to me, like they love being there with me just as much as I love being there with them, so mm. it's good. Yeah, that's all cool. Yeah, especially when you've had a stressful ass day, and they mm. kind of like, Bring it, yeah, kids are like They that. take your mind yeah. off of it, you know? And and I have a, a little girl who always likes to remind me, like, just remember, like, you left class smiling. Oh, that's like, cool. Oh, oh, that's I got cool. you, you know? Because some yeah. days they walk in, they're like, Coach Amber, you look tired. <laughs> because I am. And then by the end of it, like, we've just been, you know, having a good time, oh, learning, God. things like that. And, yeah, yeah. it's nice. Sorry about that. Mm-hmm. I also train, like, individually. Right now, it's pretty much just women, except my special needs client that I have, Curtis. He's, like, the only male I'm training one-on-one right now. But all the girls I'm training one-on-one are kind of, like, teenagers, or I got, like, an eight-year-old. So that's good. That's mm. interesting because you get to be more, like, just you and them, you yeah, know? So yeah, yeah. you really grow close to them, their, their moms, their dads, their families. You almost start to kind of become a part of their lives and that's a it's a lot of responsibility but yeah. it, it feels good at the end oh, of the day that's cool mm-hmm. yeah all right this is definitely off subject but what do you feel like uh about um uh, about like all this the uh, boxing calling out like mma fighters and um, you call out an mma fighter or, who knows how to box okay yeah or not really boxers i should say i mean it's technically boxing but uh it's the the paul brothers or like today's fight the logan and uh floyd you know what i'm saying I just want to know. What I you don't think know. About that. I don't know now. I'm so confused, right? Because uh-huh. I was, I was against Jake Paul. Yeah. But I was lately, too. he's been saying some things. That's that like, of, what's up? You want? Are you about to start managing some of us, Jake Paul? Because yeah. you're saying some good I things. Know. Like, are you going to give us something here? Like, how about you help out? Since you seem to have a plan, sir. Yeah. But not. Nah, um, it's hard not to like him when he says some real ass shit. Yeah. But this whole little like, sh- like show and yeah, 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 yeah. circus act and all that is it's a little too much it's fucking ridiculous yeah. it's fucking and it makes like real fighters real upset you know and 
he keep they keep picking fighters like that's not as a community. Yeah, that's not who we're putting in there to represent yeah, us in these boxing I know, fights. I know, you know, like I know that's it. We but they're doing it right strategically on based on hit, you know. So it's like, yeah. fuck, dude. Because look, Tyron Woodley, like. I know. What do you think? He's fucking, he's like I'm about to get paid. Yeah, I know, but do you think he's just like that's what it's a just better like, chance of fucking Ben Askren? Yeah, that's for sure. That's better 100%. chance than Ben Askren, and whoever was like Ben's about to. That was crazy that Dana actually was like, Nah, Ben's, Ben's gonna, gonna, gonna take this because yeah, usually well, he's I, real smart. But we, you cannot tell me that you ever thought Ben Askren was gonna go in there and box somebody. I didn't think, I don't know what I thought, but I didn't think you he was going to. You wanted that to happen. Maybe I did want that to happen. Maybe I was a hater, but uh, I just didn't think he would have. I, I, you know what I thought with his style of fighting? He's a wrestler. I'm thinking he's going to dirty box. He's going to grab. But when he went out there and he went out there like the old school, like fucking boxing, like, you know what I'm saying? Put him up like this. I was like, oh, fuck. Like, I thought he was going to grab, hang, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And make it dirty. But yeah. instead, he was like, I'm going to box you. Yeah. And his arms were out here. And I was just like, oh, fuck. Dude. Well, you know what? Tyron really got a way better shot than yeah, the I last know. one. So I'm, I'm, it's, it's fascinating. And it's, it's really starting to bring some light, though. You got a lot of fighters now yeah. standing up for some stuff and saying some stuff, you know, like, yeah. you know what? Jake Paul, how you got going to let this YouTuber say some real shit yeah. like he he's not lying you know so yeah it's kind of mm. hard to to it is hard. fight facts yeah it is hard it but is the hard. circus act, getting people pay yeah and the talking shit and this though. Logan Paul thing like what if, it's so it's just such a stunt yeah it's such a stunt and to yeah. feel like it's not a stunt like it's a stunt he's yeah. 55 pounds heavier than you bro yeah like it's a stunt. It has to be. Yeah, There's no way that this is like, like it's, for real. Yeah, it's crazy that Floyd weighed as heavy as that 155, and I was like, damn, he looks. And good. Floyd, you he don't lose his one, his O. Oh, this yeah, is an exhibition yeah. match. He can't like, lose that. He can't. Yeah, it's, yeah, there's no judges. No judges. You can get knocked out. It's like um, ref decision. Is yeah, it or something ten like ounce that? gloves, ref. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, it's weird. So it's even like, if Floyd loses, stuck. yeah, it's. Uh, it's, a it's not stunt. a loss. Yeah, it's just a payday. Do we know how much money they're each making? Lots. <laughs> lots of money. Lots of millions. Lots of millions. And like in Tyrone Woodley, too. He's like, we're about to cash out. That's retire what he said. with yeah, some he millions. said this is the biggest paycheck of his career. That's what he said. Just just, just, just right now, already. Like, mm -hmm. that's not getting money on the back end or nothing. Just right now, get well, just signing the contract is the most money he's received for a fight. And that's crazy because he was champ. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I and think, got paper for I think points. this is what... MMA's needs though someone to throw a wrench so? in it and be yeah. like, "Look, guys, pay attention." Yeah, well, you see like, all these fools are saying like, uh, "Paulo Costa just said that he just pulled out of his." I guess I am, I am around it. football players mm -hmm. all day long. Yeah, NFL, 49ers, Raiders, and I'll tell you right now, as athletes, we are not treated the same. Hell no, we are not treated the Hell same no. by the people not that even. are supposed to take care yeah. of us and represent us. That's yeah. from the organ like. Some organizations would love to, but they just don't have the means, you yeah. know? And, like, you know? But the you know? big ones have the means, I think. I think the promoters just somehow get... It's weird, because boxing, the promoter gets, like, a certain percent, and the fighter gets most of it. And well, then I feel like I, in MMA, I, it's the opposite. I think a lot of it, too, is because fight, MMA fighters are used to struggling, so just mm. even a little bit yeah, we're yeah, happy yeah. with, yeah, you know? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you know, that's someone true. offer you 10 and 10, you're like... Finally, <laughs> 20 finally, I win. finally, yeah. ten and ten. I like I'm, Mama, I, I made it. I but know. really, that's for what nothing. we do, that's fucking yeah. chump change. Yeah, that's it's chump change. Yeah. Especially what I just looked at, like Tyson Fury, fifty-seven million a yeah, fight. Dude. Yeah, dude, I, I, I put my life on the line more than a boxer does. Yeah, straight and up. And low-level boxers will walk out of there with like a million dollars. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like mm -hmm. people that are on the on the bottom. You know what I'm well, saying. Well, and especially like women though, boxing is different oh, yeah, story. That's, that's well, why Clarissa see. has was like, I'll, yeah. I ain't never made no million yeah. dollars. Yeah, exactly. You know, and I've been yeah. doing this forever, and she's got a point too. Yeah. You know, so it's a lot in the fight community. You've got lower level men, then the women get treated different than the, than the men, yeah. and then you got lower level men being treated different than these fighters. So. Yeah. There's a lot. To I do be think done. in the sports world, though, women in MMA can have the potential to make the most money. Ab they, or what other sport? Like tennis, I Absolutely. guess. Absolutely. CrossFit. CrossFit. Yeah, CrossFit. CrossFit. Do CrossFit. they make super bread like that? The women, they do? The women are, okay. well, the women make just as much, I, if I believe, I don't quote me, right? Yeah, but I'm yeah. pretty sure, like, the women are just 
up there just like the rest of them, you know? Yeah. So it is possible. Like, it can happen. It just... Time. You know? Time. Unfortunately, it's time. Yeah, but these, like, little, like you said, wrenches in the shit getting mm-hmm. thrown in the mix mm-hmm. can change the game. Because, look, know? we all just want to fight, and we want to get paid for it. Yeah. Like, that's yeah, it. Like, that's we want to give you a show. We want to be loyal to organizations and people, and we want to put our lives Ooh. on the line. We love this. We yeah. love what we do. Yeah. Like, if not, we, if, I always had a saying, if I wanted money, I would have been a lawyer. Yeah, you know, I love real. what I do, but I do want to get paid yeah. for it. Like, I do, and I know that I have the ability to, and there's a lot of people that are also like that that don't. Like, mm. They ain't making, you know, yeah. nothing. Fuck, I know. That's brutal. Mm-hmm. I know. I know. That's sad sad part of fighting but we do what we it love is. and we can just yeah. hope that one day something happens it pays off. you know yeah so we all win that's mm-hmm. it like no no hate no nothing yeah. we all just want to win yeah also it's pretty good i mean we're what th- it's like not even 30 years old yeah you know what i mean so yeah. like we're making moves yeah and pretty we're rapidly too because yeah. i think in the next five years people are going to be making real money yeah you know what i'm saying five yeah. to ten years maybe even less than that especially mm-hmm. if you can just shoot up to the top you can make some real break, and unfortunately you know I mean? it is just a time thing just like all sports mm-hmm. like you got to develop into something and yeah like just, it was i think that was a, a huge look like connor was the what it say he made the most money as an athlete yeah that's a great look athlete, for mma you know? even though it's all these other different ventures yeah. but still like He's a, he started as an MMA fighter, so it shows that the the window or it shows the ceiling. Well, is same so thing high, with Ronda, you know I mean? right? But yeah. this also goes Ronda back too. into like um, like the personas of fighters, right? Like if they yeah. weren't these personalities, it's not just them being a fighter. Like, and that's where the mentality's got to switch with the people playing, mm-hmm. right? Like, yes, we're fighters. That's what we do. Yes, yeah, mm, yeah. fighter. But at the same time, like. People want to be entertained. They want to know about you. They want to know about your life. Yeah. They want like look at all these other athletes and stuff like that. Football players, uh, yeah. wrestlers. Yeah. Like their fans, they are engaged yeah. with their fans. Their fans feel like they are household names, mm. and that doesn't come from them just being just it's everything wrestlers. Yeah. No, they 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 have these personas. They play them up, and this is what gets people to attract to them, like yeah. like them, love mm. them. You know, when Ronda started, she put her whole life out on she YouTube, yeah. you know, she let everybody come in and that's why people fell in love with her yeah. because they got to see all of it, you know? And yeah, she had people following her big crews and stuff like that doing it. But, but that was later though too. Yeah, she yeah. Was, you know what I mean? That was later on after it like kind of paid off. And I think saying? that that goes into what we were saying earlier about these other people, other fighters, especially women fighters who are now trying to like create these personas about themselves that yeah. give people more than just fighting. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like two in all the time yeah like not just when i'm fighting tune in on monday tuesday yeah. wednesday look yeah. what i'm doing yeah. you know because that's what people want and yeah. that's what that's what promoters want promoters yeah. want people that want other people like they want to sell shows they want so we all got to work together yeah exactly yeah. that's why i kind of like doing shit like this this is what I, I like doing because it puts people out there in a different way you know what i'm saying it's yeah. not just generic fucking how do you feel today i mean it is some of that too but yeah. it's like hey how's it how are you feeling today what do you how's weight cut bop, 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 all that robotic ass shit but when you have a real conversation with people and people see it they can i like that i want one day to be able to be a per, like have a platform to where i can talk to people even people coming up people later on you know what i'm saying yeah. and put people on in a position to where even if it's just a little bit more people see them and they're like, damn, this person is dope. You know what I'm saying? Well, and especially because you want to know more about these fighters. You want to know about stuff like OnlyFans and you want to know stuff about fight camps and you want to know stuff about this, this, how do you deal with hate on the internet? Mm -hmm. How do you deal with being a woman in the sport? Like, people want to know these things and if you don't have people asking the questions and you don't know, you know? so you just see the product. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. This is great. Last question. Or not really even a question. Do you have uh, anything you would like to plug? Anything? No. No? Well, nope. yeah, you yeah, know, I always like to plug the people that help media, me out. Um, Vibe California out in Sacramento, Stockton, Reading, you know what I mean? The dispensaries up there always helping me out. Um, Dr. Dino down in Los Gatos keeping me nice and recovered. You know, I've got Lean Feast helping me with my meals. Um, I always feel like I'm forgetting somebody. Uh, but, yeah, you know, my teammates, my coach. All my coaches just yeah. Nice. Hit me up on my social media. Yeah. What is social your social media? media? Um, my Instagram is Amber Librock, I think underscore MMA. 
And Why, Brock? I knew it. Why, Brock? Fuck me. Why? Because you know what, man? I was like, <laughs> God damn it. This whole time, I even looked. I should have asked this is a question. I was looking at interviews with you, right, before, and I was like, Lee Brock. Everybody's saying Lee Brock, Lee Brock. And I was like, that's what I thought it was. And then, of course, you're like, Amber, why, Brock? And I'm like, of course, mm-hmm. it's, of course it's not. I mean, that's just how I've always said it. Okay. Like, that's, that's how, well, that's that's how, how I'm going to say it. That's how what it my is. My family okay. said it. It's German, so yeah. however Germans pronounce things. Like Brock. That's it. Yeah, yeah you know? <laughs> <laughs> but right, yeah, cool. and then my Twitter is just my first uh, Amber M Librock. I'll plug it all. Facebook in. Amber yep. Librock, like it's pretty simple to find. Okay, pretty Dope. easy. Well, thank yeah. you, Amber. I appreciate this. This is appreciate awesome. It. Yeah, Great. I'm glad you had fun. I had fun. Thank you so much. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Dope. Sick.